Rust-based Cosmic Desktop has finally made its appearance with PopOS 24.04 LTS Alpha. As it's an alpha release, you can expect missing features and bugs. But don't worry, we tried it to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect from it. This is Ankush from its first and let's get started. Cosmic offers the same good old PopOS like layout, so if you were a PopOS user, you will feel right at home without needing to miss GNOME. You get a compact and simplified experience with it. The desktop features all the essential apps and Cosmic specific apps for settings, files, terminal and more. You get all the tools that you need to get started and everything looks neatly organized to start with. Yes, a new Linux user may not realize that they are not actually using GNOME desktop but Cosmic with the same level of convenience. It's that good. First things first, we have the most loved app launcher. Use the super button to display it and search for files, apps or settings quickly. The position has been adjusted to the top section when compared to Pop OS 22.04 LTS. But I liked it in the center. I don't see an option to tweak that but hopefully we can in the future with its beta releases. The second highlight of Cosmic is the dead simple settings menu. If you have used any other desktop, you will agree that it is arguably the simplest of them all, even with some missing options. You can adjust the panel look, dock, display settings, window management settings and more. Now the third and the biggest highlight is the ability to customize the look and feel of the desktop. Maybe some of you may not agree but I think Cosmic Desktop can make some KDE fans switch over. Yes. You get to change every little thing like accent theme, dark light mode, text color, menu container background, window background, button background and the window highlight color. And it is both easy and advanced at the same time. It even displays a color code of what you're choosing. So you can be precise in what you choose. It is an exciting ability for picky users. You can adjust the window hint color size, change the icons, style of buttons or window from round to square and more. I'm sure a lot of us will spend a great deal of time here to get the perfect theme that we want. Or maybe we can never settle with one. Who knows? On top of all the nitty gritty controls, you can import or export your appearance settings. So yes, we can share it along with fellow PopOS users as a file. Next up is the Cosmic App Store. It follows along the same style, lists all kinds of apps from the repositories and Flathub. The alpha release does not include the ability to change any setting for it, but you should be able to control the sources in later releases. This may not be a huge deal, but I find the new Cosmic Screenshot tool a nice upgrade with the ability to save the picture to clipboard, picture folder or the document folder. It's a nice touch. Last but not the least, Windows Tiling and Workspace Management is what makes it stand out from the rest. It's a great convenience to have if you are someone who does not want to spend time to install and configure a window manager like i3. You can simply enable the auto tiling mode or tweak it as per your workspaces. It works like charm. Of course, the glitches you see in the workspaces menu here is because it's an alpha build. You should be able to number the workspaces and tweak its behavior as well. Overall, PopOS 24.04 LTS Alpha is an impressive release with its interesting desktop. You can install the desktop on other distros following the official instructions on System76 website. Like usual, you get the latest Linux kernel with PopOS 24.04 LTS when compared to Ubuntu. So later this year, when the final release of PopOS hits, hopefully a lot of users can use it as our daily drivers. So what do you think about Cosmic Desktop on PopOS? Have you tried it yet? What are your first impressions? Let me know in the comments down below.